Hello again, Weskies. I just wanted to start out by sharing with you guys how bummed I am when I heard that our school buildings are going to be closed um, for the rest of the school year. I'm sad because I miss all of your faces, but also because all of the books in our library are going to sit unread until August, and that makes me so sad. Um, but there are a ton of great resources online, ebooks and audiobooks. Um, I'll put links down below, but also I always update the Muskie Library website, so please make sure you're checking there for the most recent resources so that you guys can keep reading throughout the summer. And this week I do have several new books to tell you about. I'm starting with one that's a collaboration between all of the teacher librarians at Muscatine Community School District. Um, it's Ghost. So this is a sports book series by an awesome author named Jason Reynolds. So this first book is about running. Um, and it's all Ghost, whose real name is Castle, has ever known. But Ghost has been running for the wrong reasons. It all started when he was running away from his father, who when he was little would chase Ghost and his mother through the apartment, um, up the street with a gun trying to hurt them. Since then, Ghost has been the one causing the problems and running for them until he meets Coach, an ex-Olympic medalist who sees something in Ghost, that he is crazy talented. So if Ghost, Ghost can stay on track, both figuratively and actually on the track team, he could be the best sprinter in the city. So can Ghost harness his talent for, and speed, or will his past finally catch up to him? So like I said, this is a series. So Ghost, Lou, Patina, and Sunny are four friends with wildly different backgrounds. But they're also four kids who made an elite middle school track team, a team that could easily qualify the, for the Junior Olympics if they can keep their act together. Um, so they have a lot to lose, but they also have a lot to prove to themselves um, and to each other. So Ghost is the first book in the series, and it's available to read on Mac and Via as an ebook right now. Or you can listen to the Muscatine Teacher Librarians read the entire series over YouTube for the next four weeks. So this first book is available for you to listen to this week. It's read by Mrs. Bloomquest, um, and the links are on the Musky Library website if you're ready to start. The second book I have for you today is a narrative nonfiction book. It's a memoir, so it's a true story, but it is told using a lot of the same elements of fiction, like plot and characters and antagonists and protagonists. Um, it is I Will Always Write Back. It was written by Caitlin and Martin, who are also the two main characters. So in 1997, 12-year-old girl from Pennsylvania and a 14-year-old boy from Zimbabwe began a pen pal relationship. So in alternating chapters, Caitlin and Martin tell the story of how their letters started a friendship that lasts for several years. So this book contains so many touching moments, including that Martin loves receiving photos from Caitlin, but when she requests one from him, he sends her the only photograph that his family owns. Also, Caitlin hears accounts of Zimbabwe's political and economic turmoil on the news, but what really alarms her is when Martin sends her a letter written on a popsicle wrapper. She realizes that the only paper he has is trash. Because of this, she begins sending her babysitting money to Martin, which his family uses to help pay for food and for school fees and also for rent. Um, and Caitlin's family eventually decides to sponsor Martin and his education. So this book um, is really sensitive and candid, and it talks about how so many small things can really make a big impact on people um, and how both families were truly impacted by this friendship and their commitment long distance. So the amazing part of this book is that it started as a school assignment, a pen pal assignment, and it led to over six years of letters. Um, the alternating points of view and the real photos of both Caitlin and Martin make this book really difficult to put down. Um, and if it inspires you to change lives, you can visit the book's website and learn how they recommend that you pay it forward. I'll put a link below. The last book I have for you today is a realistic fiction romance novel by Nicola Yoon. So this is Everything Everything. And this book is available as both an ebook and an audiobook on Mac and Via. And it's a movie that you can stream while you're stuck in quarantine. Um, I'll put a link below to the movie trailer. What if you couldn't touch anything in the outside world? Never breathe in the fresh air or feel the sun on your face or kiss the boy next door. In Everything Everything, Maddie is a girl who's literally allergic to the outside world, and Ollie is the boy next door. So Maddie, the main character's disease, is as rare as it is famous. Basically, she's allergic to everything. 
and she's never been outside, not in 17 years. The only people that she sees are her mom and her nurse, Carla. But then one day, a moving truck arrives next door. She looks out her window and sees him. He's tall and he's lean and he's wearing all black, a black t-shirt, black jeans, black sneakers, and a black cap that completely covers his hair. He catches her looking and he stares at her and she stares back. His name is Ollie. Maybe we can't predict the future, but we can predict a few things. For example, Maddie is certainly going to fall in love with Ollie and it is certainly going to be a disaster. So everything, everything will make you laugh and cry and everything in between. Um, it's an innovative, inspiring, and heartbreaking novel. Um, and it's told in vignettes, so short stories, and diary entries, and illustrations, and much more. And there's a twist at the ending that will surprise every single reader. So all three of these books today are available free through Mac and Via. Everything, Everything is also available as an audiobook on Mac and Via. I'll put a link to Mac and Via below, as well as directions on how to create your account. Also, don't forget to visit the Muskie Library website for more resources and a link to the Muscatine Teacher Librarians reading the track series by Jason Reynolds. The first book, Ghost, is available this week. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll be back again next week with more book talks. And please don't forget to put what you're reading below in the comments.